Okay, looks like we're on. All right, everyone. How is it going out there? How's everyone doing? He's here again. Oh yeah, how are we gonna do this? Okay. That's how we did it, okay. So, what's going on up here? Oh, dude walking his dog. Okay, let's get out of this traffic real quick. Jeez. Okay. Another beautiful day on the island of Guam, that's for sure. Uh, I was lucky I got to spend most of it outside. Um, I kind of burnt while I was at it. Nothing but sunshine. Almost done with this road. Looking good, looking good. Anyway, I hope it's uh, warming up for most of you back in the States. Thawing out. Um, man, I don't know, I just, for me personally, oh man, I'm just not good with heat. I mean, a uh, cold. I'm better with heat. Uh, like today, I don't know. I'm like three shades darker than I was before uh, I went to work. <clears throat> but I could take it. I'm used to it. Grew up with it. Love it. Um, the good thing about the sun is you can hide from it when you're outside, you know, you can go find a shady spot, hit the shade and it's a little bit cooler. Man, the cold, forget it. You can't hide from that sucker. And the thing about it is, is it's so cumbersome to get warm, you know? It's like just a function. You gotta do layers and layers. And I guess depend, it all depends on your, um, how do you say it, your tolerance, I guess, for the cold. The more tolerant you are to cold weather, the less you have to wear. And the less tolerant, the more you have to wear. And so for me, I look like a snowman. And it's, it's kind of irritating. I like island style where I can wear um, shorts and a t-shirt, you know, and I'm good any day of the year, any time of the day, even at night. So yeah, there, man, there are some beautiful things out there though in the mainland. Um, Hawaii is a good compromise because it's not kind of an in-between but the bad thing about Hawaii is you gotta pay to live in paradise and so yeah but man the days here have been really nice weather it's not it's hot but it's not too hot right now we're not in the summer months yet so the Sun is little bit off to the side still going down kind of early waking up kind of late um, next month it'll be slowly but surely getting hotter and hotter and then once we hit May June it'll be full blast and that's when the rain starts to come so I'm kind of liking this so that it can get more rides in going to school and get more videos done um, I know I just uploaded 
one that I did on Friday. I was supposed to get a ride in this weekend, but couldn't. So, man, it's been rough for me. Um, like I mentioned in my other video, I just started a new job. And uh, it's really taking its toll on my time. It's, it's an easy, relatively easy job. I guess it depends who you talk to. But for me at least, you know, I'm good at this kind of stuff. And I've put my time in to be good at it, you know. Like anything else, you do it long enough, you become good at it no matter how the job how hard the job is. At least that's with most jobs. Some jobs, holy cow, it's hard no matter what. But yeah, that's what's eating up my time. It's hard to get these videos out like I want to. Got some stuff done over the weekend though. Changed the oil in my cars. And, <laughs> and this bike. Um, this bike requires me to change the oil <laughs> every 15 hours of riding. So, that's not a lot of riding <laughs> between oil changes. But, if you want anything at least any engine, sorry, to last long, then you gotta change the oil. Um, right now, I have a Toyota truck with over 200,000 miles on it, and that sucker's still running good. And the reason is, whoever had it before me was changing the oil. And when I got it, I keep changing the oil. And so, I have a log. And they kind of, all my vehicles now kind of coincide with each other. So I, do, I just do it one shot. Get all the oil changed at the same time. Um, what else did I do? Yeah, that's, I think that's all I did was I just got the oil change, change the filters. Um, they say you can change your filters every other change. On this bike, I change it every single time. It actually has two oil filters. But it's because for this bike, it only has one cylinder and way less oil capacity. So I want to keep that oil kind of fresh. But, on the other hand, I still do it with my truck, every other change. I mean, what's an oil filter? Three bucks? Might as well. And if you think about it, if you get these things done every, every three months, or, um, you know, you could push it, but I would stick to every three months. Um, your engine's gonna last a long, long time. And again, it's it, another thing is it's all about what kind of loads are you putting your engine under. Like for me, I just use this bike to go to school and get back home. But if I was racing it, then I would definitely increase the oil changes because I'm putting more load on it. If you're pulling a trailer or a boat with your truck, then I would change the oil more frequently. But if you're just daily driving it, every every three months, or 3,000 miles. Um, I, for me, there's times where I have to use my truck at work, so I just do it every 3,000. 
Because sometimes I could get to um, 3,000 in two months. So I just keep, keep track of that. But yeah, look at that. There's some clouds over there, but it's not going to bother me. The wind blows that way, so after class we'll be all good. So anyway, um, I do, I know I said it on my last video that I plan to do a ride, but um, I'm thinking maybe tomorrow, and if I can't get it done tomorrow, I'm going to do it Wednesday, is uh, I'm going to take the other way from school, leave early, at, or from home rather to school, and that way I can get a different route in and uh, get you guys more to look at. I know those of you who've been watching, it's kind of kind of just relying on the content that I'm putting out with um, our discussions here. But, you know, um, I'm, I'm not getting a bunch of views and maybe it's because of this, right? It's just the same old thing. But uh, hopefully, you know, please share share the video and share it with your friends if they want to hear about Guam or hear me talk about certain things um, concerning Guam. Then they could tune in and, you know, I know it's an 11 minute, 12 minute drive and that's all I can get done with our content, you know, trying to talk about what we can talk about in that short amount of time, but you know please again bear with me and uh it'll it'll it's gonna happen it's in the it's in the plan all right well anyway uh you guys recognize this place it's the cutoff point uh thanks again for watching please subscribe please like uh shout out to all my friends out there watching really appreciate it and uh once again east out